opportunity Five here. They can either play the. Uh, I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I think they started off this tournament really poorly, but they recovered well. Oh, they do see uh, each other. Do they want to go for something? Uh, they do have uh, the high ground advantage. Going up high ground without a ward is very problematic. JML throws NBR to the low ground. Not going to be anywhere close. So now they turn around onto Lewis. They lose their slaughter in the river. Not the place that he wants to die, but they get two. And now SG walking up Tino. He's the next target. One stroke of fate. It's destiny for you, Tino. The destiny is death. Question mark. I mean, the Earth, Earth Spirit is going to die, but... The SG, they don't know how to go backwards. Oh, uh, sorry, M figured it out with the stick. He goes up onto the ramp. Shanks won't be able to get the kill. And out with the Disruptor and Har as well. They only have right clicks to spare, but it, overall, a four for two engagement. It's not reflecting into in the economy somehow. I don't know how that happened because it is showing the indicator is showing a slight uh, advantage here for execration. But in terms of momentum and just the, the early levels, uh, Har is in trouble though, top lane. Uh, yeah, he is, and Hara does end up dying. It's uh, not a good look. So we're back to 4-4. Four, four. Uh, Kawaii, we've had our fair share of, of deaths and kills. Let's favor the creation a little bit, because uh, their laning stage otherwise would have been a bit problematic. CML is in trouble. Uh, you know, I mean, a little bit of trouble. They have the Inks. Well, the Stroke of Fate is a huge amount of damage. Hold on a minute, Kawaii. I wasn't thinking about the burst from the Stroke of Fate on Hara. Gets the last right click to secure the death of CML. Not rebound in this lane. I felt like it's gonna be a sidekick lane. Uh, she's gonna get at level four, of course, but I, I genuinely felt it's gonna be like a rush uh, sidekick lane. Hold on, oh. bottom question mark has found a target. Don't even think he was really needed at the top as well. CML falling, gyrocopter one hit away from killing MDR will instead take gyro uh, the not the gyrocopter. Well, he gets a double kill. Never mind. Uh, this is working out great. In as well. He's got an urn and pops the magnetize as well. A bat, can he get out? One more magnetize, but inside the fountain, he will regen up. Lucky indeed. RNG not on the side somehow. Close the gap, but maybe if he walked like a couple of and steps further. Oh, mid, mid lane. That's for Mel. Yeah, there's a roll up, but it's going to get canceled with a beautiful science play. Hara needs a little bit of help. You still have that roll up on Lewis, and it's finally going to connect the Inkswell. Only stunning so SML. And now the poor Earth Spirit going to try to get that kick. Lewis is falling really low. Going to take one hit, two hit, three from the tower. Might be enough to glimpse back. Is going to secure that kill and now cml he's stuck between the high ground and a disruptor he chooses disruptor gets that kill it's a double kill for the disruptor at the end of the day but just random dota like they're tra they're not getting an edge they're trading maybe they can find the kill out on Tino though the rollout and they do also have the glimpse just in case they need it wall is gonna land gonna hit onto two heroes three and with the blast off as well hold on m he's in a lot of trouble and that's what the illusions clean him out you have the glimpse onto cml he's gonna go back to where he came from in that area up top question mark hitting the magnetize out onto shanks he will start to fall here lewis has arrived as well but that ink swell hara cleans up that one kill but the illusions are chasing down or disruptor underneath this tower the roll up gonna roll through disruptor trap glimpse is available in just a second uh, yeah, oh, the glimpse roll, level two. miss yeah it's only level two glimpse but level two glimpse is still nutty get the silence out onto the techie so he can't blast off but the roll through is gonna connect onto question mark and he's really gonna be question marking his own play there as he gets blown up the proxy gonna work out they are in the lead slightly by 4k oh but it's gonna be a flash here Question mark with the ink wall on top. He goes right in. It's going to be a complete whiff, though. That glimpse catching back CML. But that's a turnaround play, Lewis. He's found the angle. And with that call down, MDR, you were up in the in initiation. But you are down one, two, three heroes. And I mean, look at this damage from the proximity mines. It is way too much. And SG fall apart in that team fight. Exit crate. So you can't really play split. At this point in time, I feel like their only real play is to sacrifice a support somewhere across the map and attack the other side. They're gonna oh, sacrifice they're Hara. Hara right now. It's a beautiful wall combo, but they get the static storm. 
do actually having a bit of a contribution here into this team fight. There's a lot of AoE damage, but not enough first, not enough killing power here to get the kill onto any hero on the side of Execration. And Lewis, he's diving tier three towers. He even gets a kill onto Hara. And I mean, question mark, buying time, trying to get the roll out. He will continue to do so. The homing missile does has no chill, doesn't know when to stop. Is going to continue going forward. Gets the sun out on the question mark. But again, he's going to go through the portal. A bit. I, I don't think there's anyone dying right now on the side of his equation. Unless well, they're alone. Might be the target. Yeah, MDR with the blink forward on that. Egg swallow on top Ooh. of that. The glimpse. Wait. No, you threw it away! But no, hold on, it wasn't a glimpse. I'm not sure how he got out of that one. And it, this poor disruptor gonna get picked off here at the leash onto the back line. Both supports are dead. They have the egg and set they're finished up, but that gyrocopter is slapping Shanks all the way to probably his death. Is the, uh, oh my goodness, what is this dark portrait? Shanks, he's gonna die! <laughs> what in the world? I'm working. I, uh... I mean, Jarver is not the best Dark Portrait target in the game because you don't really get oh, the benefits. No. Oh, oh get no. Oh, you just blinked forward. A bot is there. There's the wall of Replica. I mean, this play was replicated as well. He's dead. No buyback. MKB finished up. That really helped you a lot there, Home Slice. Yeah, I don't think he can really go for the fights without his... Yeah. This is hard. Yeah, how do you do this? Well, the question mark, he's gonna go in with the ink swall, but he thinks that's how he's gonna do it. Even though you have a B, uh, BKB, it doesn't matter. The physical damage coming through will actually barely get out. And Lewis, he's eating a lot of the damage coming out from the disarm, but the minus armor play is there. MDR getting that one stop, but it's a beautiful vacuum. Combination, they throw everything into that. It's a four man stun from MDR to continue through, but look at the amount of sustain that Execration have. You just took a huge fight. You got three kills, two buybacks, 23,000 gold. And Kawaii, it's not looking very good for SG. It's a 4v5 fight. You have the ink swell on the MBR. He's going to push forward onto a butt, and he's going to completely fine again. Has the Satanic available with the Aegis of Immortality. Only three people caught into that. That's a five man magnetized. Hold on a second. The damage is going to be there. Shanks in the back line is going to get taken out, but question mark, he's also the target of a death. And a bot, I mean, he's feeling pretty lucky, feeling himself more like as MDR, the lone fish in the tank, but nothing is left in the tank. They've poured out all the water. They've poured out all the hope. And execration, they'll go underneath this fountain that's dr all dried up as the GG is called. And SG lose game one. Uh, that oh, draw ranger. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, uh, uh, he <laughs> DML, gonna get stunned. Is it gonna crush? Yeah, MDR is gonna get first blood. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. The moment you get disposed, it's just it's just that. It just happens over. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It, the only worst thing to be in this lane is CM, essentially. Uh, I think it's really important that uh, Slardar gets a minute 12 or less Blink Dagger. For mm -hmm. the side of uh, SG, they do have Kanka for catch, of course, but uh, they want to be killing repeatedly bottom lane. Yeah, they have a beautiful uh, the nightmare it is going to be on Shanks, but Tino just kind of walked in. I did not think he respected the pure damage coming up from the brain sap at all. Maybe his brain was turned off and thought that would do make brain sap do less damage, but. That's not how that ability works, and instead CML up in the top lane actually threw MDR forward. I'm not sure that was the play that you wanted to make there, CML. Now the bash of the deep coming through deep. Surprisingly, but all in all, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. He's going for phase boots. I'm, I'm interested in what his build is going to be. There is a Rod of Ada's build, there is an Aghanim's build, and there is... Oh, there is Lewis. DP, Hara has arrived, Lewis. You're a little bit too deep. You will get thrown back. And that will get the kill as uh in his passive against the uh, draw ranger, not doing it quite yet, level four, and no points in it at all. Tino he thinks that it's gonna be no. okay. We'll see. Bottom, I mean the draw ranger, he's gonna be the target of an initiation here. There's a big fight happening in this bottom area. And yep, they do get the kill on disrespecting. 
whatever lane equilibrium means in Dota anymore. Uh, what people are doing with creep aggro nowadays, who really knows what, uh, where the creeps are supposed to go, and the question mark, he knows where he's supposed to go. It is going to be the swap area, they have the extra you know, got pulled in, and with the Hara arriving as well, the support on out onto that boy. A beautiful turn for his foes coming out from Hello. far again. This That's is a double kill for question mark. Thanks for playing Dota 2. The displacement from SG is paying off dividends and when you feign the Fiends group is available, he's just gonna walk up and do it. But the rage is there. They get the Fiends group finally. But I mean, the Fiends gate, the taxi has arrived loose by Hastrin as well. You did eventually get that Fiends group off. It's gonna be the nightmare stolen. CML with the level three nightmare. But the cavalry has arrived onto the backline. The Bane will die. But the boat has come in onto the, again, CML trying to do anything he can. Hara gets two people with the stun, thrown back loose, trying to get the damage out onto him. It's a lot of damage actually Lewis is taking, but not going to be enough. And two supports die on the side of SG. Execration, don't lose anything. Probably, oh, but... Uh, yeah, you would hope that somebody wouldn't be happy beside your life stealer. If you're got, if you've gotten to the point where on SG where you don't care about being an extra life stealer, I think Execration might have lost the game at that point. A dominating performance. Yeah. So FDR. Tank is gonna die, Lewis. He's gonna be the target of that gank here, but it's a beautiful arena catching up too with that firestorm as well. So much damage. That's the Torrent Storm is going to be there. Hit stuns one, two, three. The Fiend Grip as well onto the life stealer. The damage pumping through from the Dark Ranger. They get the kill. Wem is on a killing spree as well as CML, but one is a little bit more important than the other. Lewis get trying to get run down here, but I'm the sun here, out onto M. Tino has found the draw ranger. Draw ranger gets one slow on the back line. Okay. CML will end up dying here, and Tino got hit okay. with one frost arrow. That might be enough to close the gap. One hit, two hit, three. MDR in the river. You know how strong the slaughter is. The fish boy with level four guardian sprint gonna heal up by quite a lot. The spear not actually gonna connect him with that wand. We'll start to walk out of there. His blink gets canceled, so he won't be able to get out of there with the acorn shot as well. Can he get out with the blink? He's going to blink down into the river again. Tino thought he was going to go up, but no, he went bottom and we'll be okay. You look... Finished up the diadem. He's only like, he's like basically a thousand gold away, but the life stealer with that orchid as well. They have the corrosive haze. Was the perma stun there? They have the gust as well. That is a dead life stealer. And with the arcs mark out onto CML from the rotating question mark, they get the kill with Hara's unleash and execration. Even though they play the buddy system, they're buddies and they go down together. No, and I mean. SG, they have finished up some BKBs. They got one on the starter, one on M, one on Kunkka. So all sorts of BKBs. Shanks has found himself, you um, you know, as a creep. There's but there's a smoke play uh, mid. The only problem is it's Lewis. Do you have the burst damage? You're going to find out with the Draw Ranger beating into him on that fire area the right click's coming through that crimson guard making him so tanky he's turning around the huge firestorm but not going to be enough and again on the back line mdr finding the, another support execration lose three in the span of 10 seconds 10 15 seconds uh, it, and it was like five people hitting him essentially oh, oh tino, tino what a he whip missed. he misses the Blink Spear combo, now MDR with that BKB coming forward. The full Bloodthorn finished on him, Tino. With that BKB going still, it's gonna expire. And you have a, a Life Stealer inside of you, and the Life Stealer is gonna leave out. 5v5, and they don't win the 5v5. Yeah, they, they, uh, this, is, this is over, sorry. Uh, I mean, it, it, it might be the support, the ones that are your kind of bread and butter here on this team on these team fights having killed all the creeps in the base which means that this tower will fall the backdoor protection not going to be available and with the dry ranger amplified damage rune this top range racks will fall this middle melee racks will fall as well and with the puddles it's an ocean on this middle lane and they've got a kill no question mark they're gonna pop the bkb but they don't have any more first damage to go through the team script piercing through that bkb from tino that's a dead mars 50 seconds for him without the BK or without a buyback as well 
and Shanks up onto the top area. He's got found and he got deleted with the Unleash Bloodthorn combination and continuing forward Rubik. He's got maybe a few seconds left to live and that was a very generous exclamation there as they continue forward. This Lewis Underlord is going to be yeah, under go. six feet again. He has died. The two buybacks on the support execration may be looking to get one kit. They are making more puddles. The blanket keeps getting canceled from these illusions, but they pull back out of the life stealer. They have the alt or the rage coming out from the life stealer as well. MDR wants to play Kino. Miss the spear. It's an arena for literally nothing. And now the combination is there. You're purpose on the whole team. Execration call GG because I mean, what can you really do? Everybody died. Yeah, I don't think there's like, I, I don't think Execration were going into the last fight seriously. I think they already understood that this game is very much lost. Uh, and it also like showed in their spot. It could be trouble. Okay, maybe here. Uh, uh, I'm definitely oh, so low. Might get cut out here. Gonna turn around on the MDR maybe. Mm. Uh, yep, my grenade is thrown. CML taking a lot of creeps for that. Um, I'm, I was, uh, I was thinking that maybe Hoodwink First left the lane. Uh, oh, yeah, Wait. Emma's gonna. What does it happen? Oh, was he doing like creep shenanigans? I was about to say that level six, I think Gyro can rotate top and kill Drow. And level six, Gyro is rotating top and, and then is killing Drow most likely. And yeah. Like, hey. Try to TP oh. out. Oh, missile not going to connect. So, really heads up play. They get the Hoodwink. Actually, wait, the Hoodwink died. But this is going to be the Paul Price play onto Lewis instead. And the Bane right click down by the IO. This Drow needs so much to be effective. Like, maybe I am underestimating the aggressive potential of Lewis with Darks uh, here. Maybe you are, but the Nightmare coming through on the Dragonite, I wonder what he's thinking about, but probably thinking I better get back into the action. The Flame Breath going to be the killing blow there. Lewis continuing forward. It's a beautiful bushwhack out of the back line. And again, they continue forward. They might get the kill out of the Primal Beast underneath the egg. They've rotated Duck along this aisle. They get the kill out of the Phoenix. MDR goes down. Io has to live for like three more seconds. Can he do it? No, he cannot. So the rotation from the gyrocopter. Abbott wants a little bit more action. Won't be able to get in. And SG lose their Dragon Knight. Zhao Yu was a little bit too aggressive there. And they also lost Io, who I just... I just figured out his name translates to a full stack of uh, four stack of uh, big camp and it's yeah. a five stack of uh, ancients yeah and na naturally the, the, the big camp just died f first it, it also had like double trolls so a lot of skellies just imagine the sounds uh, Hara gonna get chased down here okay he dies it's okay. inconsequential. Uh, he was only revealed. SG know exactly what's coming. They're going to get through the portal. Can they gonna get there in time? Do they make the great escape? Whoa. No! It's the Fiend's group on the gyrocopter. M. He needs backup. He needs his team. He's completely alone. There's four heroes around him. The call that was going to be there. The black cannon, the damage is not going to be enough. SG have left their carry to die rot into the gravestone that they placed him in. In the casket now. Hara, he's gonna join him. It's gonna have to fit too. As Execration find the pickoff on the absolute best target. But it, it is giving this extra two minutes. And I said, if they don't win 10k by 28. Oh, mid. Hold on a minute. Question mark. Has to fuck the BKB to get the kill. The pulverize. But that's a beautiful nightmare save from CML. They brought in M. It's a vacuum ball combination onto the two fours and the aisle. They come in. M. He wants a little bit more action. He's going to get the damage out. The BKB has been finished. And Io, he's not going to bring M back. This is the BKB through. And they charge forward onto the Phoenix. They have the egg coming. But no, he's not the target. Instead, the dry ranger will be. And Xiao Yu, he's going to walk away. It's two dead on the side of Execration in exchange for nobody on the side of SG. SG continuing forward the onslaught. Going to go up onto the high ground. They've brought Duck in as well, supporting the gyrocopter. And finally, Execration. Three minutes, homie. Oh, but diving tier two towers. I never condone this kind of action. Maybe it's going to work out. Uh, unfortunately, for the team of Execration, Hara gets a double kill onto CML. 
onto Abbott. And now this tier two tower gonna start to fall here alongside the Dragonite. They have the damage coming through with the flag cannon as well, the gyrocopter. But no, they're gonna back up and I know where the line is gonna go to you. I think it's going to get it like a 35 minutes into the game. He's essentially going to be, for all intents and purposes, six loaded uh, at 32. Oh, they 30. get the roll up, but it's an illusion bait instead. The first damage will be there. Shanks dies. A nice play from question mark. So even though that's a 14,000 gold lead, still have to... gets on top of you without an axe. Yeah. Not... Oh, they found Eno as well. The first damage is more than enough. It's a Bloodthorn finished on... Zhao Yu at before 30 minutes and it immediately turns into a kill. You don't have, you have griefs finished, but you died before you could use them even. <clears throat> what changes in the next two minutes? I don't think anything changes, just gonna go high ground. And Feeble is kind of nice. He's only hitting for 80. Yeah, they get the rollout out of the dark up the fly back on the Tino immediately, but that's a satanic. BKB play, the Fiend's Grip is there. Do they have the heal from the IO? No, they have the onslaught. It's gonna kill, stop, keep it alive. And then relocate out. Dodges the egg stun. But unfortunately, you do leave question mark. Are they gonna bring the gyrocopter back into this big team fight? I don't think so. Nope, instead, it is just the IO. He got silenced up, he will die. So you've lost two. Execration, hold the high ground. And just by the skin of their teeth, it I, I did like the way they initiated this, and I have to say, in Feeble, oh, it's a, a much bigger problem a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, what a beautiful Manta style. Hara looking for a little bit more onto that Phoenix. They know that there isn't the egg there, but again, the Jar Ranger is coming forward. As all of a sudden, Jar Ranger has turned into a factor. Wife and just the uh, kind of push you out, uh, out of the position. And oh, you, your they have sword. They found Abbott. Can he get out of here? I don't think so. Is there going to be enough first damage? It sounds like it. And of course they have it. And if Abbott had to buy out to be able to get the items, it's a triple kill for M. The middle racks are starting to fall here. Just one play is all it took. Execration teetering on the knife's edge. Can they make a cut though? A cut deep enough to matter. A cut deep enough to draw blood. No, it doesn't look like it. No blood is drawn. The only blood drawn would be of their own. And Execration fell apart with one team fight. That's all it took. SG wins game three in the most convincing outdraft I think I've ever seen. Yeah, this was a stop. Uh, I. It, it felt like hope for execration for like maybe 30 seconds out of 30.